in the next video, I'm just going to show you how you can possibly just use characters that are already in Mixamo. So I'm logged in. And so a while ago, I used this from uh, the uh, pack that I had gotten from uh, uh, Synth. Uh, but you could probably do it the same thing with the assets that you find in Unreal Engine, as long as the skeleton works. So I'm going to just show you some of the other characters. Now, the characters you pick should go along with uh, whatever it is you're doing. So, you know, probably wouldn't make much sense to have all these kind of monster characters unless in your, uh, you know, there's these demons attacking people. Uh, there's a lot of cute characters in here, if you look, and they don't all work perfectly with Unreal Engine. Like, uh, I know this one works, but some of them will sometimes come in and look ghostly. So there's a way to fix that, but I don't remember how to do it. So I would just say, pick another character. So let's say I really like this one. So, all right, so this is a good character. So I'm going to use this one, and maybe I want a bunch of animations related to it. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, download this animation and bring it into my scene. Um, so I'll go to Unreal Engine as it's downloading. I'll make sure I, I notice where it goes and what it's called. It'll be called Defeated, probably one, because I already have it defeated. Um, so... I'm going to bring it into the same folder as the others. So it's like bringing it. You might want to create a new folder and type it enemy or something, right? Oops. Or I'll just rename this one here. Kind of enemy. All right. So I'll import that character. And I need to go get it. It's defeated. And I probably... It probably has its own skeleton, so I'm not going to select another one. Same thing as before, animated time, import all. So now it'll import this character. Give it a second. See, it was very important that I created a new folder because look at all the stuff that was brought in. You have the materials, the textures. You have different, uh, you know, parts of the blueprint, the skeleton. So I'm not going to just drag this character in and test them. Before I go through and download five different animations, just make sure works great so I'm gonna do the alt s to see how it moves yeah it looks awesome I'm definitely using this okay so I'm happy so we're basically uh, you know doing that go and get other animations and so on I'll just show you something that's kind of useful if you go back to Mixamo they do have what are called gesture packs so you can kind of click those and just type gesture packs and you could i'll just type packs i guess um well they are there so i don't a second i forgot they were in animations and this is where i got the characters by the way so for the packs now i find that it's just simpler and i highly recommend you just find each individual animation and bring them in one at a time okay um but you could uh, find uh, interesting animations in some of these packs sometimes. So, you know, here's a locomotion pack. The problem is, is it'll just add them all to your character and, you know, you bring several in at a time. So, you know, I'm going to just say use that uh, cautiously. Uh, much easier to just bring in one animation at a time. All right. If you have any other questions, please let me know.